All right, so here we're gonna be working on snapshots and not only are we gonna be focusing on proper technique, but also a few options that you can be doing for the snapshot drills and we'll go over those as well. So the key with the snapshot is there's really two different ways to take a snapshot. One is, you know, you're facing the puck. So this would be like if you're getting a pass in the slot or you're getting a pass on the blue line, you're catching it, you're releasing it at the net when you're facing the puck, all right? The other option is you're facing the net, okay? So in this situation, you know, it'd be like if you're a defenseman, you're on the blue line, you catch a puck on your offside, you release the shot at the net, or if you're a forward in the slot and you're facing the net when you catch the pass, okay? Or you're coming down and you shoot off that inside leg or outside leg in stride, all right? So really that's what we were looking at here. We're looking at facing the puck or facing the net when we're shooting. Now. A few keys to the snapshot here. The idea is we don't wanna bring the puck too far back. So as we're bringing this puck too far back, it's great to get extra power on the shot because now we have more flex and weight on our stick. So as we bring that puck farther back, we have more flex and weight on our stick so we can shoot harder. But if you get used to shooting the puck that way, as you move up and up in levels, it's gonna be harder to break that habit and shots are gonna get blocked. You're gonna get the puck poke checked because of the fact that players are faster, players anticipate better, you don't have that much time to take shots. So instead of bringing the puck back to generate this power, what I want you to work on is keeping that puck just by, by your back foot or maybe just a little bit behind your back foot. And what you do, instead of having your stick here on the inside of your hip, push that, that top hand out a little bit. And now how you can see, I'm emulating almost that same body positioning and stick positioning here with that extra weight on the stick as I was when I was back here, okay? So what a lot of players do wrong is when they have the puck here, their hand is up by their hip and they're just using their bottom hand to shoot. You want to incorporate both hands to shoot, meaning that you have to push that top hand out and then as you shoot, you, you bring that top hand back into your hip, okay? So it comes back into your hip as your bottom hand releases through. What that's going to do is it creates that torque on your stick because I have one hand moving one direction, this hand's going, this bottom hand's going forward, this, bo this top hand's coming in and that's creating torque on my stick so as I have I'm pushing on the ice here and that's what's going to create that quick release all right so just to give you an example here you can shoot it from your back foot you can shoot it from the middle I can even shoot here from the front foot and as long as my hands are in good position okay I can release a good hard shot all right so releasing that shot that way so the key is maintaining that good hand positioning so really work on nice and slow to begin with getting that hand out and then pulling that top hand in as you're releasing through with that bottom hand all right that's the technique and it's the same thing if you're facing the net okay you don't want to have that puck way back here and go through this long release okay you want your release to be short top hand comes out and then releasing through watch an nhl game and a lot of times as those players are skating in they'll show their shot and they'll show their shot in slow motion okay what you're going to see is they're coming in and really quickly when they release that top hand comes out and then snaps back and a lot of times in the NHL you'll see those guys and if you can see it in slow motion their top hand is fully extended here cuz now they're getting all that whip and that torque on their stick and you can just see this huge bend in their stick because their top hand is out, their bottom hand is releasing through, and that's creating all that torque on your stick. So when you get a chance, watch some of those slow motion goals and slow motion releases of the NHL players, and you'll really see their top hand extended out, and that'll give you a better idea, but I want you to understand why they're doing that. They're doing that so they can get a quicker release, because if their top hand is out, they're getting more power on their shot from right here, and they don't have to come all the way back here to get weight on their stick because now they have weight on their stick right here with their top hand out. So focus on getting that top hand out. So the first drill that you can do when you're, when you're facing the puck is just really working on going nice and slow, pushing that top hand out, and then releasing that bottom hand through. So you're pushing the top hand out, releasing the bottom hand through. You're not worried about shooting the puck quickly. You're just really focused on technique. Okay, so take your time with each shot, but really focus on getting that top hand out. Okay, so top hand pushes out, snap it back to your hip as your other hand comes through and get some pressure on the stick so that you're creating that torque on your stick and then you're gonna snap through. 
All right? Do that same thing now facing the net. All right, so now we're facing the net. Puck is right here by your heel. Don't bring it any further back. Push the top hand out and then get that bottom hand through. Okay? So we're here, top hands out, bottom hand comes through. Get some pressure on your get some pressure on the stick here. Knee is bent, good positioning. Don't ever shoot standing straight up. Get some pressure on the stick by bending that knee and that allows you to get a little bit of lean into that stick. Okay? So pucks at your heel, top hands out snapping that shot through and that's creating that torque on the stick and that's how you get that quick release. So the first one, 10 shots, nice and slow with each shot but really focusing on getting that top hand out and then boom, quick release. Facing the puck, facing the net. Next thing that you can do, then you can speed it up a little bit. Okay, so now you can go 10 shots as quick as you can. So you're gonna take all 10 shots as quick as you can. So you'd be here, all right, pucks right off your back foot or right in the middle. You're going to have 10 pucks and you're going to go as quick as you can at one target. So you're just going to one, two, three. Each time you're pushing that top hand out. Four, five. Okay, look at your target. Make sure you know where you're shooting. And then you're going to have 10 shots at that target as quick as you can, hitting as many as you can, just one target. You do that same thing facing. So 10 times through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shots, quick as you can. Be under control. Maintain a good knee bend. Don't just flail and throw the pucks everywhere. Even though you're going to go quick, you still want to have good quality hard shots. So try to balance a quick release, but also good accuracy and being keeping your body under control and hitting the net. Okay, you want to hit your target. So it's a balance there between quick release and hitting the target. The next one that you would do is around the world. Okay. So you would have 10 pucks. You're going to go either lower right or lower left to start, and then you go upper, upper, lower. So you're going to go target on the bottom right, target on the upper right, target on the upper left, target on the lower left. Again, we're going as quick as you can for 10 pucks, both facing the puck and facing the net. Okay? So 10 times through with 10 or with 10 pucks all the way around the world seeing how many targets you can hit, switching the target each time. All right? And then you can go side to side. So you can go lower right, lower left, lower right, lower left. Then you can go upper right, upper left, upper right, upper left. So you'd go 10 times lower right, lower left with 10 pucks, 10 pucks, upper right, upper left, upper right, upper left. Okay? You're going to again, you're going to be doing those facing the puck and then you're going to also do it facing the net. So see which one of those is in your program. Use the proper technique and use the proper uh, um, drill that's in your program, but really focus on that quick release. Really focus on generating that power with your snapshot. And that's going to be the snapshot to get a quick release to build power and all the different drill variations that you can be doing.